all right what's going on guys so getting some new tires for the Mugen GPs by on the road tires you can follow him on the ground but we're putting the same tires on there Michelin Pilot Sport all season that you guys can see fours we're gonna do the same tire t 2540 on 18s with the Mugen GPs so I'll go ahead and take these off to help out James real quick but yeah man this is how the, my daily still looking good so let's go ahead and uh get these new tires because my my tires are bald guys look at these ones already yep especially like right here right here in the middle and then the outside as well got the new one on there the whole setup <laughs> Man, this Adrian SI, man, it looks nostalgic. Always looks crazy, man. Can never get tired of this look. On the jack stands and everything. Yes, guys, there's jack stands underneath there. James does an amazing job. Everything on the road, mobile, mountain tire, balance, sick. Guys, if you want to check him out and put his ad up. But definitely, gotta love it. But guys, spoon caliber still going good. Still on bag, still holding up. If you guys did see the video, I replaced the whole control arm. Um, inner and outer tie rods. These are brand new. Inner and outer tie rods are brand new. Uh, new freaking end links as well. End links are down there. Those are brand new. It looks done. It doesn't even look brand new. Well, it doesn't look as shiny as before, but it does still look brand new on this car so basically the whole front suspension has been swapped out on this car and i did the end links and the subframe bushings as well if you guys haven't seen that video go check it out and i don't show you guys but i have a video replacing the sbc camera arm so these are brand new you guys can still see it has um we put some anti-seize on there but these are basically brand new these are the new sbc camera arms before they were just straight across but now it has this l shape so i just put these on and i got my high sensors for the right for uh the bags bag system as you guys see bags is over here so i didn't show you guys the video of installing this but i did add these so i basically got all new suspension and you can see this end link is new down here as well for the rear and the subframe bushing has been replaced as well so i get to show you guys that today i did replace this so i'm about to go get ready for alignment after this so overall you guys can see this one's brand new over here as well basically replace a bunch of suspension bushes on here but the rotors are still good as are still good as you guys can see check the front still good slotted and drill rotors are still good and you guys can see the pads still got a bunch of meat in there as you guys can see as you guys can see this thing is shiny brand new bushing and link inner and outer tire rod still looks brand spanking new yep gotta do the oil pads you guys can see i do have like a small leak right there but as you guys know the suffering has to drop again to even do the oil pan when i was doing the clutch on this car which i didn't make a video of uh, miguel was helping me out my friend he has the fa5 that's terrible making 500 horsepower but he sold it sold the whole car or kept the motor from the car and he got he's doing an all-wheel drive hatch right now but yeah when we pulled the suffering he was like hey i see your things leaking df honda bond nope i'm like damn it's like yeah we could have resealed it and i was pissed i was like damn because taking a subframe out is a is a pain in the butt for sure especially doing a clutch but overall let's check the other side it's good still good yep still good this side is good pretty sick James also make sure your wheels are torque and everything. It's pretty nice. Sick. All right, what's going on, guys? So, as y'all saw, I did get my new tires on. I don't know if I told you guys what tires I went with. If you guys don't know, I went with Michelin Pilot Sport for all seasons on the car. I'm gonna go ahead and turn it on because right now we about to get it.
part of this channel. This thing, dog, my favorite car. Wait, where's my headlight? Oh, nah. Hold up. Am I tripping? Hold up. I know it's cold today. It's like 30, 40 degrees today. Nah, you serious? Ain't no way. It is too cold to be out here changing headlights. Okay, I was about to say, oh man, ain't no way. I was about to be mad. Yo, I hope it's not going out though. But yeah, guys. I was about to be upset. I was about to be heated. Like, ain't no freaking way these lights just went off. But yeah, guys, got the HNSI, got the yellow fog lights, the retrofit headlights. You guys already know. You guys probably see the Mugen seats as well through the windshield. But yeah, guys, about, as you guys know, fall slash, well, fall is about to be over. about to be winter. So my tires are bald, basically bald. I showed you guys that in the last clip as well. So we got the Michelin Hollis Sport 4s. Can't even, where's the logo at? Michelin Hollis Sport. All seasons, are y'all can see. Still got the spoon calipers, the million GPs are my winter wheels. So, yep, let's head to the alignment shop. Look at, this thing looks mean. I gotta adjust the height and everything because when I put those new camber arms on, SBC changed their design from like the banana to now it has like a damn horseshoe type uh, camber arm now. I don't know why they changed the design. So I had to put my height sensors a different way, get it recalibrated, everything. I actually stopped by the person shop at the line. He let me put it on there on a the flat surface so I could do the calibration for the bags. So I got that out the way. So now, Big shout out to him because I got to do it like a couple days earlier. He's like, hey, just come by on this day because he's going out of town. And now today is the day to finally get this done. So, All right, just finish up with my alignment. That's how it looks. Go ahead and back this thing up. I lowered it on a little bit. Shout out to Richard helping your boy out. Now let the fun begin. Hey guys, so this is the end of the video. I kind of just wanted to throw this video in there to guys after getting all of the new bushings and suspension components on the Agent Honda Civic SI. Also after that, my car definitely needed some new tires. The tires are definitely going bald, getting down to the last bit. So I definitely ran the life out of these tires that I had on the car to the bare minimum until it was time to get new tires. So I'm glad I got all new suspension, bushings, and then new tires on the car. So I'm super excited about that. The car drives amazing, handles a lot better now. And of course my car is getting up to there in mileage. So of course you got to replace things here and there, etc. So guys, this is my first time using Michelin Pilot Support for all season. Those Michelin Pilot Sport all season fours are freaking expensive. I don't, dude, the price for the tires with this inflation is ridiculous. For a size 17 wheel, it's ridiculous. I think they're like, what, a thousand dollars? But they're really some good all season tires in the rain, everything, handling, everything. A lot of cars, sport cars from the factory comes with Michelin Pilot Sport all season fours. So I decided to go with those and man, I'm not gonna lie guys, I've been driving on them for a while now and they are really good in the rain, dry, cold, doesn't matter, it handles really good. It does have a little bit of road noise, but overall the performance, you can't beat it. Like, it's top notch. You definitely get your money worth for the performance and all the different seasons, the car handles perfectly, rain, if it's freaking pouring out, looks like it's flooding, the car handles it, no slippage, nothing, so definitely, but man, the price for tires nowadays, 
to get a good set of tires that handle really good man it's freaking crazy oh man i think it was like a thousand dollars or something like that it's, it's prices for tires right now or anything right now for inflation it's ridiculous guys so guys that's it i hope you guys like this video if you guys want to show your support to the channel definitely hit the like button subscribe to the channel if you're new and if you guys don't know i am going to be doing a build series with my dad on his car so any support and love that you guys want to share by just hitting the like button that's free commenting that's free sharing the videos which is free or if you guys want to even support the channel i have merch below i am going to be doing like a build series with my dad's new 2024 integra type s and he's going to be picking all the mods so you guys get to see exactly what he wants to put on the car and you guys are gonna see his build and i get to share that experience with you guys and i get to experience the whole process of building the car building the car with my dad so that's gonna be pretty dope so i'm super excited to see his reaction with a full bolt on tune k20c1 basically the same engine in the type r but of course the acura has more power from the factory 320 horsepower has even had more power than my type r 306 horsepower from the factory so i'm super excited to see what this car makes and get his impressions because man this car turns into a whole different beast when it's full bolt on tune and then of course you can make the car faster than that which is insane so guys that's it if there's anything that you guys want to achieve find your inner drive the thing that drives you to take a step toward your goals every single day and make it happen peace